Hi guys, it's Amy with A2Z Stamping doing my weekly live video. Oh my gosh, I feel like I have so much to tell you and I have a cute little demo I want to do for you um, at the end of this with these little um, post-it note holders. They're so cute. Um, so, But I have so much to tell you. So I want to go over that first. Let's see. I want to see if I can turn my, let's see, if I push this, um, I'm trying I'm trying to be fancy. I don't know. I don't know if I could be fancy. Let me see. Do I want to push this? Oh, let's see if this works. There. Okay, good. I think I just flipped myself around, so I think everything's backwards to me now, which is bizarre, but I think it won't be backwards to you, but I'll need to make sure I flip it back around anyway. We'll figure it out. Hey, Nikki. Okay, you guys, I just literally walked in the door. I worked all day. Um, I'm sure I've told you all before, but one of my many jobs, I seem to have a lot, is I substitute teach, and so... Um, Yesterday and today, I was in um, the same classroom all day, and that was fun and challenging. We'll just we'll just say, but um, anyway, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm gonna totally mess with my hair because I'm backwards. Okay. Anyway, so I just now walked in the door, and I was like, oh my goodness, it's Tuesday. I need to do my live video. Okay. First, did you guys see my class for this week? Hey, Tina. Um, it is the Merry Little Labels. Oh, my light is too bright. Okay, let's see if you can, if I can get it on the screen here. My light is too bright. Okay, hold on. I will do it. There we go. It's the Merry Little Label stamp set and, um, oh, you're not going to care about this, but I saw that this is on the carryover. Sorry, guys. See, that was my alarm going off telling me to do my live video. Okay. Um, I know you don't see it that well because of my lighting, my insane lighting, but I love this stamp set. And what I was saying is this is on the holiday carryover. The list hasn't come out yet, but um, we got the occasions catalog. Eee. Okay, anyway, I can't I can't show you guys that yet. But on the back page, hey Sarah, on the back page we um they show a few of the things that's carrying over, and what that means is because um, you know the holiday catalog ends December thirty first, I think. Maybe it's January 2nd, but it ends at the end of the year, and when something's carrying over, what that means is it's not going to go away. That means that's going to stay available, and it will be in next year's annual catalog. And I just happen to have seen that this is one that's in there that you can only kind of see. Oh, wait. I got to remember, you're opposite of me. There we go. Okay. So, anyway, my class for this week is this stamp set, Merry Little Labels, which I love, and it's bundling with this punch, the Everyday Label Punch, which you guys know is my most favorite punch of all time. And since when since we're buying them together, um, you save 10%. You guys, which I think is a lot. That's basically, well, that covers your shipping. So anyway, but I love this. So we are going to make three cards, or three cards, yeah, three cards. <laughs> Duh. We're making three cards as usual, so two each of three cards, and I'm throwing in um, three tags. So we're going to be using every single stamp in this set. But if you guys notice, uh, let's see if I can point backwards. Okay, this one, this one, this one, and this one right here. They go perfectly with this everyday label punch. And you guys, these aren't just for Christmas. Well, the no peaking, you could use any time of year. Uh, the to and from does have holly on it, so that's kind of Christmassy. The let it snow could be Christmassy or just wintry. But the just for you, I have used that. I have been using that since August. So this one you can use all the time. And then this is definitely Christmassy. The special delivery from the North Pole and the eat, drink, and be merry. But this one you can use um, all the time. And actually, hold on a second. Let me just check something really quick. I want to make sure I'm not losing my mind. Hold on. I got to check my planner here. Okay, good. Whew. I was right. For a second there, I was, thought I was showing you the wrong stamp set. I, I am not. And actually, you guys, I take that back. I don't think this one is carrying over. I don't remember. You guys fully ignore me. It doesn't matter to any of you anyway. If you love this stamp set, you should get it. So you should take this class this week. So super cute. Okay. Anyway, and remember, if you want the links to take my classes, just email me, a2zstamping at gmail.com. Or if you get my newsletter, it's the links are in the newsletter already. Um, otherwise, just email me or on Facebook. You can even comment here and say, send me, the, send me the PayPal links if you're curious what the cost of the class is or anything like that. But remember, it's easy to figure out the cost of the class because it's literally retail value, tax, and shipping to me. So... Um, I don't charge you any extra or anything like that. All the materials are free as a gift for me. I prepare everything. I do charge an additional $7, but that is so, um, you can, uh, that's to cover the priority mail back to you. And you guys, seriously, um, unless you live kind of, well, I kind of do it by time zones, mountain time and, and Pacific time, the $7 does color cover the shipping. But if you live beyond that, like 
some of my customers, you know who you are, you're on the East Coast, um, it's more than $7. And I just eat that cost. I figure I'm just going to set it at a flat $7. That's easier for me. So anyway, I hope you guys will take the class this week because it's so super cute. They are three Christmas cards that I did. I just want you to be aware of that. So these cards you'll be able to use for Christmas. And the tags obviously are for Christmas packages. Okay, did you guys see my host code this week? I'm going to be changing that up um, starting in December, but for right now, I'm still doing my weekly host code, and it's posted on my Facebook page, it's on my blog, a2zstamping.com, and it's in the newsletter, and this week, um, if you spend $50 on my shopping page or more, you get the Dapper Denim Baker's Twine for free, and if you spend over $100 this week or more, you'll get that Baker's Twine, plus um, I'll send you the palette knives for free. Um, just as a thank you gift for shopping with me. If you spend over $150, don't ever use my host code. Go ahead and earn your own rewards. But I do get notified that you shopped with me, and I'll still send you these items. So go ahead and earn your own rewards with that. Okay, what else did I want to talk about? Let's see. My newsletter. If you are interested in getting my newsletter, you can subscribe yourself at A2Z Stamping. So stamping, that's with an I-N-G, dot Stampin' Up. And remember, Stampin' Up doesn't have the G, so Stampin' up.com so a 2 z stamping dot stampin up dot net did i say dot com it's dot net you can sign up there it says sign up for my newsletter or you can just text me hey i want to sign up or you can comment on this video but do leave me your email because i need your email in order to oh sorry something's on my screen there we go i need your email if i'm going to sign you up for my newsletter or message me or just however you want to do it just get me your email somehow and i'll sign you up for my newsletter um, I don't spam you or anything. I literally send you an email every Tuesday with everything in it. The nice thing about getting the weekly email is that the PayPal link's already in there. That's one. And second, it's the only place where you get to see what my next week's class is going to be. Um, I don't ever say what it's going to be. I don't tell anybody. That's the only place. It's just for the people who um, get to see it. Okay. Let's see, if you are watching this video not on Facebook, but somewhere else, I'd love to have you join my Facebook group. Um, it's a group, and it's called A to Z Stamping, one long word, A, the number two, Z, Stamping. And um, you do have to be approved, but it's a public group. I don't know why they do that, but anyone can approve you and let you in. But that's where we do the most fun. That's where I run my contest. That's where I interact the most. So um, if you like that, um, go ahead and feel free to join my Facebook group. Again, my blog is a2zstamping.com, and there it just same sort of information. Not as much fun as my Facebook group. And then, can you guys hear my children fighting? It's awesome. Okay, um, my YouTube channel, for those of you who are watching on Facebook, I do have a YouTube channel, A2Z Stamping. That's one, one long word. I can't tell. I'm backwards now. A2Z Stamping. And um, you should be able to find me. I'd love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for those of you who do Pinterest, if you find me, Amy Zydock, or I think if you enter A2Z Stamping, I should pop up. And I have, I think, five or six different um, Stampin' Up! Pinterest boards. Of course, you're welcome to follow any of my Pinterest boards, but I don't really do much on it. I won't lie. Um, but I do my Stampin' Up! boards. Keep those updated. Okay. What else? Okay, you guys, seriously, I don't talk a lot about joining my team, but I just have to say, since I just got back from the Stampin' Up! convention, you guys, seriously, you should join Stampin' Up! just to go to convention. Like, one of the reasons, and I've told you before that I stamped up, well, the main reason I stamped up was um, for the discount. I wanted the 25% discount for myself, and I am my own best customer, and I was easily spending enough with the person I was shopping from I was spending enough for myself to meet the minimums, and I thought, well, why don't I just sign up and get the discount? So that's the first reason I signed up. But the second reason I signed up was I wanted something fun in my life. I wanted some adventure, and Stampin' Up! has a convention twice a year, every November, every April, and I wanted to do that. And so you know what? I was brave, and I went to the convention last week all by myself. I didn't know anybody, and it was awesome, you guys. It was so fun. It was just the little adventure I needed. And so really, I think signing up is worth it just to go to the convention. That's just my opinion. And I want to show you guys, let's see. Well, I'll show you in just a second, a couple of things that I got. Okay. Okay. Christmas is coming up. I know you all know that, right? Hey, Whitney, um, Christmas is coming up. And I just wanted to remind you guys that you could buy my classes, like you could buy the kit and have it sent to you. 
you could actually give that as a Christmas gift to someone. I think it'd make a great gift. Or you can also buy, um, you could just buy a gift certificate from me toward classes or toward buying stuff. It doesn't matter, whatever. Um, so just keep that in mind. Paper pumpkin is another good idea for a Christmas gift for someone. I think especially for like a teenage girl, maybe. I mean, boys like to craft too, I, I guess. But, um, you know, if you know someone and you're like, I don't know what to get them, I think it's a good idea. So anyway, start thinking about that. Okay. Let me show you. I want to show you. I, can, I can't I can show you the inside of the catalog yet, but I can show you the cover. So first, okay, seriously, stuff keeps appearing on my screen. Okay, let me back up a little. You guys, check it out. Okay. This is the Occasions catalog, and it's pretty thick. I can't, like I said, I can't show you what's in it, but you guys are going to love it. Okay, so I'm not going to be one of those people who's like, oh my gosh, I loved every single thing in it. I didn't. Um, but even the stuff I didn't like, at first, and I've probably read this catalog a hundred times. I'm not even exaggerating. Stuff I thought I didn't like at first, now I'm obsessed with. And, you know, and those of you who are, like, following a lot of Pinterest boards or stamping boards or whatever, you're, I know you're starting today. I think it was starting yesterday at noon we could start showing stuff. We just can't show you the inside of the catalog. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff in here, you guys. And uh, there's more birthday stuff and thank you stuff, Father's Day stuff, Mother's Day stuff, Easter um, Valentine, there's all kinds, you guys, seriously, so cute, and you know, um, anyone who has shopped with me in the last six months, so taken one of my classes, or bought any, anything off my shopping page, any size order, I will send you this brand new catalog for free, I'm probably going to send them out around the second week of December, so that you have them by Christmas time, um, you can't order from this catalog till January 3rd, but I wanted you guys to have time to, you know, look through it. But here's the best part. Not only is it occasion starting January 3rd, but it's celebration. Yay. Okay, can you guys see that? Okay, so again, I can't show you this. And those of you who are familiar with Stampin' Up!, you totally know what celebration is. But some of you might be new. So celebration is when, for every $50 you spend, you get something for free out of this catalog. And again, I can't let you peek inside yet, but there's tons of stuff in here. And you guys are going to want this stuff. I promise you, you're going to want this stuff. So anyway, that starts January 3rd. That's why probably toward the middle to end of December, I'll start sh I'll start um, some of my videos using some of the stuff out of there. But there's no point in totally doing that yet because we can't shop from it yet. And we still have tons of stuff that we want to get from the holiday catalog. But I will show you at On Stage. That's what the convention's called. We get a bunch of stuff for free. Let me see. Oh, actually, you know what? I haven't even unpacked yet. It's still in my backpack. Okay, let me pull out. I can show you what I got. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, this is something I got. Remember how I told you guys I did a display board? Um, I haven't even opened it up yet, but I got the Hug in a Mug stamp set. That's in the annual catalog. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna yank it out of there right now. Okay. I also got the in the city, which is a hostess stamp set, so I can't wait to start. Can you guys see that? Let's see. Stupid lighting. Okay, let me see. Maybe if I put this down. I can't wait to start playing around with this in a bit. Okay, but I got some of the new ones. Okay, first, it's called Picture Perfect Birthday, and there's a whole suite. Okay, let me find the spot. There's a whole suite that goes along with this. You guys, isn't that so cute? Look at the bow. Let's see, which, which hand is this? This one. Look at the bow. So cute. And there's paper that goes along with this. It's awesome. Okay, this is in... The nope, this is also in the occasions catalog. It's called Lovely Wishes. This is one of those stamp sets that you would probably just skip by, but we saw a demo with this. So cute. These flowers are awesome. Okay, and it has um three really cute sentiments. And then this one that I got is called Picnic with You. Alright, see that? So those are three new ones that are from the occasions catalog. Okay, but that's all I'm gonna show you there. Because really, that's all I have to show you. I have a whole bunch of make and takes that we did, but I'm not going to bore you with that right now. I want to get I want to get to my demo, but you guys, seriously, you have to see this card. Okay, do you see this? There's a um, a stamp set and some paper in the in the celebration that you can get for free. It's all soda pop. You see that? What, where's my finger? Right here. So cute. Okay. Anyway, all right. One, let's see, I got two more things. Did you guys see my Facebook post about the Stamparatus? So those of you who are like professional stampers and you know who you are, you know what this is 
all about. Definitely go to my Facebook page if you want to see the video. I posted a video. This is something we're all definitely going to want and we're definitely going to need. And they're doing like a pre-order. So the first pre-order is going to be November 16th. And what you're going to have to do is it's just while supplies last, it's go, you're going to go in and basically reserve one. That will ship to you sometime in the beginning of February. You will have to um, basically you'll need an account and you'll have to enter a credit card. They are not going to charge your credit card until the item ships in February. And they'll send you an email right before to let you know. And since that will be during celebration time, again, the Stamparatus is $49. If, um, if you get in the first order, they're gonna, they'll send you an email and then you can add more items to it so you can earn those celebration items too. So that's really cool. But November 16th, so that's just a couple days from now if you wanna get the first one. And then I wanna say it's like December 5th to get in the second round. And then there's one a little bit later to get in the third round. And then beyond that, it'll be in the annual catalog that comes out June 1st, 2018. So anyway, that's really exciting. And I'm gonna be sending out all kinds of, um, it's in my newsletter this week and um, I'll have Facebook reminders. So if you're wanting to get that, don't worry, it'll be there. And then one last thing I just found out about today, they're having another extravaganza in November. So um, what they're doing is the week of Thanksgiving, let me see if I can find those dates. So November 20th, so that's next Monday, they're having a 24 hour sale while supplies last. And um, I will post this um, on Facebook and on my blog, I'll post it everywhere. But there are several stamp sets that are 20% off. And you guys, that's a steal, it's a good deal. It's not every stamp set in the annual catalog, but it's a lot of them. So I'll post that and that's Monday only, the 20th, 20% off. And then that whole week, the 20th through the 26th, there's a whole bunch of other items on sale. And then they haven't even told us yet what it's gonna be, but they're gonna have one more sale on the 27th, I believe. Either the 26th or the 27th, and they haven't told us what it's gonna be. It's gonna be another one day, 24 hour thing. So be watching for that if you're looking for gift ideas or you know you just want a good deal yourself on something. Okay, so I'm gonna clear, I think that's all I've got. So I'm gonna clear my workspace off here so I can do my, my demo. So bear with me for a second because I think I need to flip you back around. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, yay, I flipped you back around. Are we all dizzy? Nobody's getting sick? Okay. Okay, and then, let's see. I flipped you around, and then, nope, I don't want to do that. Oh, that's so funny, Nikki. Um, we were calling it, you were calling it a Stamposaurus. Okay, so at first we were calling it, well, we actually were calling it a Stamposaurus for a while. And then, hey, Heather, and then um, I think now we're calling it a Stamparama. We keep changing it. Stamparatus is going to, um, it'll roll off the tongue soon. It's just weird. Did you see why they came up with that? That They showed us like stamp, the definition of stamp, and then apparatus, and then they just combined them to stamparatus. Anyway, like I said, the name, whatever, but it'll grow on all of us and we'll love it. But did you watch the video on it? Okay, so cool. All right, anyway, okay. Now let me see if I can figure out how to flip you guys around. Okay, let me see if I can do it. Okay, did I flip you around? I did it, yay, okay. So here's my workspace. Let me get my camera back up here. Okay, I gotta move my box. All right, although did you guys see this cute box, this tin, was one of the celebration items last year and um, my grand prize winner from my October giveaway, um, she actually won all of these homemade cards for me um, and I'm giving to them to her in this tin. Isn't that so cute? Okay, anyway. All right, so what I'm making today is this mini post-it holder, and I'm actually gonna show you the finished product. Okay, isn't this so cute? And you just open it up, and inside are your little post-it notes. I'm obsessed with post-it notes. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with post-it notes. And I just thought these little holders were so cute. Wouldn't these be um, fun little gifts? Um, especially to share with coworkers, if you guys use a lot of post notes or just to give to friends, but I wanna show you how simple this is to make. So what you need is, this one I'm doing, I just happen to have the small post-its. These are those, um, what are these, the two by two post-it notes? I just happen to have a ton of these right now, so that's why um, I'm using these. Sorry guys, I don't know why my light, I don't know why it's so dark in here. Let me try turning on another light. It is really dark in here. Darn daylight savings time, okay. 
So these are those two by two post-its. Okay, and what you need is a piece of designer series paper and um, to be cut at six by two. And this is from the pick a pattern designer series paper. So this side is like the art supplies, but I just liked this black and white side. I just thought it was cute and simple. Okay, so I need my score. I need a scoring tool. I think I'll just, my simply score is right here. So I know it's ginormous and I can't even fit it all on the screen. But I'll just stick it here. And what you want to do is you want to score it. So put it in this, the long way. And I want to score it at one and a half. So one and a half. Wait, one and a half. Let's see if I can do it right. One and a half, two, four, and four and a half. So if you were doing post-its that were a different size, you know, just measure what you need. And I'm pretty sure you can figure out how to make this work. Okay, that's all the scoring that I need. So I'll put that back. Okay, next thing I want to do is, um, this was my, it doesn't really matter what end, but <coughs> this one and a half end where I did the one and a half on this end, I'm going to put it into my scallop tag topper. The scallop tag topper has been getting a lot of use, um, getting ready for Christmas time. Okay, so see, it makes a little scallop tag. You can kind of see it a little bit better on that side. All right, close that back up. Okay, and now I'm going to burnish my, I haven't even unpacked my supplies yet. And you know what? They're up in my suitcase in my room. That's super awesome. Okay, well, we're just going to make it work. Um, I do have this bone folder, but it's covered in glue. But, you know, whatever. Who cares? Okay. That's why I always have two of everything. One to be covered in glue and one to not be covered in glue. So just burnish these four score lines. One, two, three, four. All right. And your little post-its are going to fit right here at this part. Then it should just wrap up, and this will wrap down. See? Just like so. All right. But we need something cute to put on top. So I have my Melon Mambo ink here. And I actually already did my stamping, but I used the Melon Mambo ink and some Whisper White cardstock, and I stamped this little note. Can you guys see that? So cute, right? It's a little note. It came from the Lift Me Up stamp set. Right here this little note so I stamped it in melon mambo and then there's a there actually is a framelit that goes along with it right here and I use that to cut it out so I have my cute little note and then I wanted to mount it onto some melon mambo cardstock with my one inch circle punch so I will just let's see put this in here punch out a circle okay all right, so since all of my glue is in my suitcase, I didn't think this through very good. I have some glue dots here. But normally I would just use some snail adhesive, but you know what, adhesive's adhesive, right? We're gonna put that right on the, on the circle, okay? And I'm gonna grab some mini dimensionals and stick a couple on the back of here. Seriously, no judgment. I would have unpacked already. I got home Sunday night and I would have unpacked, except like I said, I, I ended up subbing all day yesterday and today and I wasn't really planning to do that, but I could not say no to the sub coordinator one more time. I think she was going to fire me. Okay, so we're going to close this up and I'm actually going to grab one more mini dimensional. You could just use a mini glue dot too, but I like to... Put it one right here on the inside just to close it. Okay. Wrap it around. Line it up. Click close it up. And then this little love note is going to go right here on the top. And then finally, I took my Melon Mambo enamel shapes. And I'm going to put a little star. You could put a heart. It doesn't really matter. And it's going to go right here on the top. All right. And there they are. So this packet's a little bit wider than this packet, but it doesn't matter. It's still, it's still fit in there just fine. Aren't those so cute? I think these would be fun little class treats. But like I said, I would totally give these to coworkers um, or set them out like for a meeting or whatever. I don't know. I think they're fun. And that was super quick and easy. So that right there is the little mini post-it note holder. Okay. All right. Hey, Sarah. Okay. So I'm going to, let me see. Let me see if I can flip you over more time. All right. Yay. There's me. Okay. So that's all I've got for today. Um, I'll go back through and see if you guys have any questions 
um, or anything. But seriously, if you buy paper, buy designer series paper or scrapbook paper or cardstock or you ever buy ribbon or anything like that, you really should consider signing up with me. I'd love to have you on my team just so we can go to convention together. Okay, let me just tell you where we're going in April. Vegas. Yes, we are. We're going to Vegas. November, we're going to Orlando. I know, so fun. The next April, I don't know where we're going yet, but I know that the onstage, the main onstage is in um, Auckland, New Zealand. I'm not going to be going to that one, but they'll have some in the U.S. too. I wish I could go to that one. That'd be amazing. But anyway, they always are all over the place and so fun, and I can't wait, and it was a really good time. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and, you know, that's all I've got. Anyway, until next week, thanks, guys. Bye.